Hey, durable dads in business, dadpreneurs, brothers from other mothers, and sisters from different misters. It's great to have you here, and as always, I appreciate your time. Now, if you're new here, I've been known to go off on some tangents, but that's kind of just how we roll, right? Today's video, no exception. We're diving into something that's at the very core of what we dads do every single day. The sacrifice word. Oh yes, the classic dad sacrifice. Well, we do it, right? It's a given. But here's the thing. I want to break down this idea of sacrifice because honestly, it's become more of a trope these days than a badge of honor. Okay, let's start with the basics. We give up our lives for our businesses, our family, and our kids. We work long hours, we hustle, we grind. And sure, on the surface, it's noble. Sacrifice is a virtue. It's what great men and great dads do. But here's the twist. Sacrifice isn't just about the act itself. It's not about wearing a badge or getting some invisible dad medal. It's about purpose. It's about intention. Why are you sacrificing? What's the end game? Nietzsche said it best, life is suffering. But here's the key. The grand prize from that suffering comes from making meaning out of it. And if we're not careful, that meaning can get lost in the noise. We start to think that the act of suffering alone is enough. But the truth is, there's more to it. So how does this tie into dadpreneurs, the dads like us who are building businesses, raising families, and trying to balance it all? We're sacrificing our time, our energy, and our money every single day for a bigger goal. Our families, our businesses, our future. But here's the kicker. It's not about staying in the struggle and wearing that pain like some kind of gold star. It's not about who can endure the most suffering either. It's about getting in, making it count, and getting out. Now, you've probably heard the phrase, embrace the suck. Okay, it's a great military term. Really, it means you face the tough stuff head on and you don't shy away from it. But here's the problem. Some of us tend to take it too far. Embrace the suck doesn't mean you move in, set up camp and, you know, make it your home. It's not about turning suffering into some kind of identity. Embrace the suck isn't about martyrdom. It's about strategy. You get in, you fix the suck, and then you move on. We're not here for needless suffering. We're, we're here to innovate, to solve, and ultimately to level up. This pain is a signal. It's like you, when your body tells you something's wrong, something's off. You're going to investigate, find the root cause, and you make the changes. That's what we as business dads should be doing. But here's when things get tricky. A lot of us dads, especially in business, start to blur the lines between necessary suffering and needless suffering. We fall into what I call the martyr complex. We think that staying stuff, stiff upper lip, enduring the pain and pushing through is what makes us strong. But in reality, it really just kind of weighs us down. Personal story time. So today I want to share a story, a personal one, about the dark allure of martyrdom. You know that feeling when you put everything into something you believe in and it just doesn't get the reaction you hope for? That's where I was. Durable dads, my baby. It's full of great ideas and valuable content. I poured my heart into it thinking, this is it. This is going to catch fire. But reality hit hard. It's not catching on the way I envisioned, at least not in its current form. And let me tell you, that's a tough pill to swallow. It's frustrating. When I started Durable Dads, it came from a deeply personal place. I built it for dads like me. Dads who are also juggling the business world because 
I didn't see that encouragement, that sense of brotherhood, or a place where these skills were combined in a way that really helped us grow. There's a lot out there, sure, but nothing that felt like it was truly for us. So this whole project, it's my personal journey. And when you put something that close to your heart out into the world and it doesn't resonate immediately, it feels like gut punch. You start to think, is this a rejection of me? And let's be real, I felt that. I had a moment where I could have easily taken it personally. Actually, I did take it personally. It felt like the world was saying, no nah, man, we're not interested. And that stings because it's not just an idea. It's my life, my experiences, and my heart on display. But then I realized something. It wasn't a rejection to me. I had several people tell me the content is solid. Great even. And that's when it hit me. It's not about the quality of what I'm offering. It's about how I'm offering it. In a world filled with millions of channels and endless content options, you can have the best message, but if it isn't, if it doesn't cut through the noise, it gets lost. And let's talk about dads for a second. We're not the first group to run towards self-help or personal growth content. That's just not how most of us are wired. But here's the funny thing. We still want that wisdom. We still crave it. It's just that the delivery has to be right. It has to hit us in a way that doesn't feel like self-help, but feels like connection. So when it wasn't landing, instead of leading into that truth and finding a way to adapt, I got bogged down. I took it as a personal failure, like my life story and everything I've been through just wasn't worth anything. I got stuck in a feeling, feeling like a martyr. But here's the thing about martyrdom. It's a trap. It's seductive because it feels like you're taking a stand, but really you're just standing still. It's about not taking things personally when they don't go as planned because guess what? Life, life happens to everyone. And yeah, it feels like the world is stacking obstacles just for you, but it's not. It's just life. It wasn't me being rejected. It was the format. I realized you could have the best product in the world, but if it's packaged wrong or delivered poorly, it'll sit on the shelf. No one will even notice. That's the lesson I need to learn. And yeah, I got caught in that martyrdom mindset for a while, but I had to step back, embrace that frustration just long enough to understand it and then shift. Shift my focus, shift my approach, and find a way to connect better with the people I want to serve. I had to get out of my own way. So here's my message to you. If you're feeling stuck, like the world isn't appreciating your effort or your work, don't get caught up in the martyr mindset. Step back, look at the format and adapt. Embrace the lesson, embrace the suck, then move forward. Because sometimes it's not about you. It's about the delivery. You see, it's easy to slip into the mindset that says, if I'm suffering, I must be doing something right. But that's not true. If you're staying in the sock longer than necessary, if you're constantly sacrificing without a strategy to get out, then you're not being effective. You're just being a martyr. No one wins in that scenario. So, Here's my message to you. Don't just embrace the suck, ghost the suck. Be a gigolo of the suck, in and out, get to know it, understand it, but don't stay for breakfast. You wanna be strategic. You don't wanna hang out in the struggle. You wanna fix it and then move forward. You're looking for the big W, not the wallow. <clears throat> Think about it like this. If you go in and solve the problem, whatever that may be, whether it's in your business, your family life, or an obstacle to your personal growth, you get the notch in your belt and then you move on. 
That's the whole point of sacrifice, to make things better, not just dwell in it. Okay, and hey, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. The lack of empathy for dads and men in business. It's real. Society might not give you the credit you deserve for all that you do. But here's the thing. You knew that already, right? You felt it, and it's not fair. But here's where I want to challenge you. Use it as a reminder that the system isn't built to give you brownie points in this way. So don't seek validation from the wrong places here. You do your thing and you win because you're, you've mastered the art of navigating without needing that external validation. Okay, remember don't wear the martyr's cloak. It's heavy and it ultimately drags you down. Don't let yourself spiral in the toilet bowl of sacrifice. Instead, do what you need to do, get your victory and bounce. Embrace the suck only as long as it serves you as a lesson. We've got too much riding on us as dads, business owners, and leaders to let ourselves get stuck in the struggle. We've got partners, kids, employees, and our communities counting us to lead with purpose, not martyrdom. So let's wrap this up. The key isn't avoiding suffering, it's making it meaningful. You need to make it count. Then you move on to the next level. You're not here to get stuck in the mud, you're, you're here to build, to grow, and to make a better life for yourself and those around you. Sacrifice should be strategic. It should have an end game. You're a dadpreneur, a business dad, and strategic operator in your own life. Suffer strategically, sacrifice meaningfully, and get to the point where you're minimizing the pain, not seeking it out as some kind of badge of honor. So the next time you face the suck, and you will, be that gigolo. Get in, do the job, and get out. It's about the mission, not the misery. And with that, my kings, stay strong, stay strategic, and let's keep pushing forward. Remember, the win isn't in the suffering, it's what you bring from it. Peace, kings. Stay durable, stay purposeful, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, durable dads, before we wrap this up completely, if you found value in today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get this message out to more business dads who need it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining our community of dadpreneurs and business dads who are all about networking, advertising their main and the side hustles, and leveling up in business and life. Drop a comment below. So what's one area in your life where you're embracing the suck but ready to ghost it and move on? I wanna hear from you and I always respond to the comments. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. We've got more on strategies to win in business, level up in fatherhood, and make your sacrifices count. If you want your businesses spotlighted or want to get in on the database, head on over to DurableDads.life. Let's keep building that Durable Dad legacy together. Until next time, peace kings, stay strong, stay purposeful, and keep pushing forward.